Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we've come back down to the trail. We spent the morning helping uh, my neighbor with the broken tractor. He has a uh, small tractor, subcompact tractor, and unfortunately he's had some issues with it. All right, let's set up. And all I wanna do today is pull a bunch of this loose earth down from uh, the bank here so that I have it for fill. All right, let's get to work. Folks, that's pretty good. Yeah, that will give me the size I'm looking for. And that will also give me a fair bit of fill to put down in there. I'll have to come down with uh, my little chainsaw to cut some of these bigger roots out of here. And we'll get rid of them. But I don't want to go down that trail right now. It's too wet. We can't do that. So I can't grade here until I get rid of this. So at this point, we're gonna head back and cut some grass. And then tomorrow morning, we'll uh, be back over at my neighbor's. So I'm hoping tomorrow afternoon, we'll get back on video here and start doing something with this. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning folks and welcome back. So, as you might be able to tell, there hasn't been too much happening up around the sawmill so far uh, since early spring. We've got a little bit of stuff coming back, growing back in here. But today we are going to uh, take a crack at those uh, cherry logs. So we're just in the process of getting set up for that. So I've got to get rid of some of the growth that's here, uncover the mill, let it start drying out, and then we'll have a closer look at the logs. All right, let's get to that. All right, folks, we got a blade in here for the first time uh, since early spring, ready to go. So we're gonna start it up, see how easy it is to start up. Now, when I put it away, I filled the fuel tank right to the top. That's to help avoid getting moisture inside these tanks, especially metal tanks. They can be a bit of a pain. And the fuel is also treated. All right, let's start it up, hopefully, fingers crossed, see how it goes. Well, that was pretty easy. We'll give it a minute to warm up and then spin the blade. All 
All right, so what we're gonna do is just give this a quick scan, make sure we don't have any nails and stuff sticking up out of it anywhere, uh, just to be safe. I would be very surprised to find anything in any of these. What's that? That's the grapple, That's the grapple yes. The I've got a helper here today. <laughs> All right, looks like we're clean. Hey, yeah. What's your day? There's like no nails in there? No nails. See the different color right there? Yeah. Yeah? That's what we don't want. We're going to get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's put one up on the, on the sawmill and see how we do. Yep. I did it, yes. You did it. You put the <laughs> this really does have yeah. a lot of uh, ups and downs and stuff in it. Thank you. All right. We'll get our first cut off of here. and see how we look. Well, I hope you've been enjoying today's video and if you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it around. And if you've got any comments, thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would really help. All right, let's get back to work. All right, folks, this has uh, got a pretty good wow in it here and some pretty big branches that were on it. So it's gonna be full of knots, but we'll see what we get. So the big thing that we want to avoid with this cherry is we want to avoid the sap wood on the outside, the lighter colored wood, and then that center bit uh, on the inside, uh, right in the center, the, the pith it's often called. It'll make it a little bit tricky because this log is so crooked, but we will uh, do what we can. I got some really good advice from Paul at uh, Jellin Outdoors as to how to handle this stuff and a couple of other videos that uh, I looked up. So we'll see what we can get. Let's take our first cut. We're going to cut it. You want to sit here? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to sit here. I hear him off the mic truck. can really see the, the sap wood there. So we're, we're gonna sneak up on this, which means I'm gonna kind of roll it a few times just so we can get as much out of it as we can. So now we got a flat surface, so I'm gonna flip it all the way over. Oh, look at that. So there's our first cut off of here. You can really very clearly see where the sapwood is here. And unfortunately, we've got some rotten spots in here. But we're gonna sneak up on this, so we're gonna flip it around a few times to try to get uh, as much as we can out of it. So we've got a few 
not good signs here. All right, let's get this slab off. Well, it sure got a pretty green. Well, we'll see what we can do. I mean, it is a pretty rough log, but I'm gonna start cutting off some uh, one inch plus slabs here, and we may trim them afterwards. All right, let's see what happens. Well, we're working away on our second log here, and we have obviously invaded an ant home. <laughs> They're not very happy with us, and things are not gonna get better for them. But you can see here, this is interesting, on the end of the log, you can very clearly see this center ring, and then you can see this outside ring. I'm not sure what have caused that to go dark like that. So this is our second piece, our second log, and we're getting some very nice lumber out of it. Unfortunately, we're not getting, we won't get full boards out of all of this. There will be uh, issues with the ants. So, Warren. So, you, Warren. Yes. So. So. What are those? What are what? Those. Those? Those are the ants. I don't they do. Their, their home is inside there. I don't think they're very happy with us. But that's okay. They'll move. Yeah. They'll move to another log. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's about the last I can cut of it before it just gets too small and tippy. Yeah. But of course, it's small enough now. You could always put it in the table saw and cut a bit more off. Yeah. I told myself. There's no 
on it. No, there's no ants on that piece. There's ants on the on other pieces. Beeps. So from two very crooked logs with some holes in them, you can see that there's some ant issues where it's chewed them up a little bit. But Pierre's going to take this down and trim off some of it and get ready to see what he can do with it. Yeah. He's a furniture repair guy. I'm sure he. He'll figure something out to do with it. This stuff will probably have to dry for about a year before it's uh, usable. Yeah. So the saw did a nice job on it. We got some slabs left over that I'm going to uh, cut up into short pieces and uh, use that on our fire pit for barbecuing. Be nice to have some cherry wood for that. Well, that's it, folks. That turned out quite well. I'm not sure what kind of quality cherry that you're going to get out of that. I'm not an expert on that kind of thing, especially as to what's used for furniture making. Now, there is still some sapwood on uh, some of the boards, but uh, Pierre is going to trim that off in his table saw. It just wasn't worth uh, fooling around with it to do uh, on the mill here. And then he has got a person who is looking for this wood. So we'll get a little bit of beer money out of it anyway, and that'll be good. And it was uh, pretty fun having uh, Pierre's grandson hanging around here. He was, he was very determined to see what was going on. He's a very, very curious, very cute young lad. But with that kind of audience around, you've just got to be that much more careful. You know, I got to look around all the time just to make sure that he hasn't snuck in behind me or anything like that or gotten too close to the equipment. But I think he really enjoyed himself. And that was, that was pretty cute. You got to start him young. You know, he's very curious. And he had a pretty good experience over here watching all of this going on. And as you can tell, he loves tractors. So that's going to be it for today's video, folks. We're going to get back to work on the site for the off-grid cabin. And hopefully we can get that all graded and start getting the floor in very soon. All right, folks. Thanks very much for watching. If you've been finding these videos interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. We are growing and your participation is really making a huge, huge difference in that. Thank you again. And a really big thank you to my regular viewers who are always commenting. You know, your support is so much appreciated. All right, folks, remember to stay safe out there. Be good to each other. And we will see you out on the trails the next time. Oh, I just need a spot to put my firewood.